Tonight, the Charles River Museum presents Boiler House Jazz, featuring Ara Sarkissian and Fabio Pirazzolo. Sponsored by Watertown Savings Bank. Proceeds from tonight's concert will be shared equally by the musicians, the museum, and Dinaid Waltham. Please visit charlesrivermuseum.org and thank you for your support. Jazz is a music of innovation. It's a music of improvisation. Uh, and to me, the connection between the Charles River Museum of Industry and Innovation is a perfect match for what jazz is all about. Most jazz series that Ken asked me to um, help him curate is, is really exciting because there's more to it than just booking an artist. Uh, you're booking two separate artists, really, and uh, trying to make something different happen than you would ordinarily see at some club or theater someplace else, which is a kind of a set thing. This series is for people who want to hear something different, something fresh, something uh, that's going to uh, perk up their ears. and They're going to say, wow, I, I, I never heard that before. The best compliment is, I've never heard anything like it before, and that's what happens in this room. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ken Field. I'm the co-curator with John Bouchard of this series, the Boiler House Jazz Series, right here at the Charles River Museum of Industry and Innovation in Waltham, Massachusetts. We're so glad you could join us tonight. Uh, it's going to be an amazing concert. This is our last concert of the spring season. We'll be back in the fall. I uh, hope you'll come back. And uh, do want to uh, thank the museum uh, for letting us do this here. Thank Bob Perry and the staff for, uh, for having this take place. Also want to remind everybody that we would uh, very much appreciate your donations of any amount. Uh, suggested donation is $20. Uh, the, the donations get split evenly between the museum and the musicians, who you'll meet in a second, and Dine Aid Waltham, uh, a wonderful initiative that helps support the restaurants that are badly in need of support in Waltham, Massachusetts. Uh, and I'd like to introduce the musicians for tonight, a really amazing concert that you're going to be treated to uh, with uh, my good friends, and maybe they'll come out right now, Ara Sarkisian and Fabio Pirzolo, and it's going to be just an incredible concert, I guarantee it. So thanks very much for being here, and take it away. Gentlemen. Gentlemen, we said, Mamma mia, the Tamil Chara, the Chamantia, the Chatuay, the Janama, Prima da Hija. Gentlemen, we said, Mamma mia, she gave you no good job, the Tamil Chara, the Kikavita Roman Chamantia, the Chatuay, the Janama, the Polito, the Janama, Prima da Yeah. 
Ora re lo passariello indo alla ve Ora re lo passariello indo alla ve Si non la va a parrai Si non la va a parrai Si non la va a parrai Tutta la vena sa magnara Chi non ci vai a monte per non fa che l'anghiana Chi non ci vai a monte per non fa che l'anghiana Prima di tacca e poi di punta tutta lì io me ne vanno a mo Prima di tacca e poi di punta tutta lì io me ne vanno a mo Lizzie, lizzie, mocca d'ora quattro bits Lizzie, lizzie, mocca d'ora quattro bits Mocca d'ora rega ma, mocca d'ora rega ma Mocca d'ora rega ma, grazie da mia passore da We were lead, lo sai, je t'en vie We will lead to such a thing. You think an out she will see Luvira quando bella. You think an out she will see Luvira quando bella. You think an out she will see Luvira quando bella. You think an out she will see Luvira quando bella.
Il y a de la la baby faut. Et va la casa di, ma va la casa di. Namurate va la casa di. Namurate passa di orio. Se mamma se ne adonde chi su io, il lega sosta te, ma iella di fo, il lega sosta te, ma iella di fo, puli a di iella che lega fo, la femma non fa. Luce al sole, no, buono ti è luce lo petto tu luce lo petto tu una galante in pietà li tieni tu ogni all'argento e a chi li tocchi bene Certamente, un idea di Allah che la cavò la femmina fa.
Wow, that was uh, incredible. Uh, Ara Sarkeesian and Fabio Pirzolo. Um, 
You know, there, there are times when you experience a concert and you call it magical, and I would say this was one of those times, a really magical evening of uh, uh, incredible textures and uh, performances and uh, melodies, uh, just really quite incredible. Um, can you guys come back up here and uh, play for another uh, half hour or so? No. <laughs> Could you come back up here and we'll have a little conversation about what you've done uh, because it was just uh, extraordinary. Before we do that, uh, I want to remind everyone who's who's watching that you can support this series, you can support uh, the museum by giving a donation now uh, via the link on your on your screen. There's a PayPal link that will take you and you you make a note. I think it automatically will tell you it's for this concert. Um, and the donations go uh, split three ways. Um, one way, one, one third goes to the museum. The museum is an extraordinary resource and uh, an amazing place with these 40 foot ceilings and incredible acoustics. Um, one third goes to Dine Aid Waltham or maybe Waltham Dine Aid. Let's see, what does it say up there? Waltham Dine Aid, I knew it. And uh, this is a, a, an initiative uh, to support the restaurants and uh, restaurant workers in Waltham area who've been seriously impacted by the, uh, uh, the pandemic, as we all have been. And one third goes to these wonderful musicians um, in, in uh, recognition of what they've done. So please feel free to donate uh, whatever you can. Uh, $20 recommended, but whatever you can. And let's see, what else did I want to say? I think that's it, but I do want to just ask the musicians, and I'm not sure what microphones you'll use to talk through, but I'm sure that uh, it will get worked out. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? I mean, it was just a, a, an epic uh, performance with so many sections and uh, who would like to just talk about what what happened? What just happened? <laughs> Where'd you take us? I'll tell you what happened when I listen back tomorrow, I <laughs> yes. guess. Yeah. So so the idea was essentially to, to, you know, because we're not used to playing just together. When you have a piano, especially an electric piano, and a percussionist, it's not, you know, unless you're just playing with rhythms, it's difficult to sort of collaborate with other other people helping. So we sat down, put our heads together, and we realized one of the things we have in common is sort of folk music, old recordings of folk music, memories of places, and because this year we all had sort of an inability to travel, inability to hear foreign languages, dialects we might not hear all the time, music we hear when we're traveling elsewhere in the world, so we decided to put it all together as part of the performance so we can revisit these places acoustically and started to compose music around that. So that became the sort of focal point around which we sort of uh, weaved or wove. I don't know what the past tense of weaving is and there's a wonderful weaving implement there. But uh, that's what we weaved all these textures around. And so we wanted to give voice to a lady from South Italy and a recording from 100 years ago and things like that. So we were able to sort of invite others to play with us, even though we were told the limit is two, but we somehow cheated and got other people to play along with us on stage. So it was really a, a ruse, if you will. A to, ruse. To, to get other people to play with us through recordings. Like a ruse. Like a ruse. Yeah, it's a ruse. So, I mean, what were some of those uh, recordings? Tell us about the, some of those recordings that you played uh, and, and also some of the pieces that you played. <coughs> can you be more specific about any of them? Uh, yeah, Fabio finds the uh, Italian lady. He can tell you about that yeah, one. That's, uh, <coughs> so much of the songs I uh, sung tonight are um, tied up to love and sometimes is a love that is going to be happening, like people getting married. And this lady is talking about actually like uh, uh, a little girl asking the mom to go and getting married and preparing for the wedding. So the chant that opens and closes our show was pretty much saying that. 
and this in the specifics is um, uh, somebody saying that the shepherd come from Apulia and go tell his mom that he's getting married. So that's pretty much what's happening. Um, but also the love that's painful, you know, like when you love so somebody so much that you can't have it or you suffer physically when that person is uh, near you or not close to you or far away from you. And that was the, the, the lament to the moor, the, the, the um, uh, lament, of, lament of love uh, that's, that was in the middle of, of our uh, song and then followed by the beautiful uh, chant by uh, Bartapan uh, Komitas, a uh, hundred year olds recording that, that Ara picked up. And, uh, and then of course, being from Southern Italy, like the love that's not being possible to express by the need of like dancing, that's a tarantella. So uh, women were, you know, were believed to be like have a disease called tarantismo. So they, they, they say that cow had been bitten by a spider. For me to get healed, I need to just sweat this poison out of my body. When in reality, most of the times, these women were the bottom of the bottom of the entire society. And sometimes the result of being a tarantata was just the woman couldn't get to the lover. She didn't. She cannot marry or go away with the person that she loved or she, she liked, or was a way for her to elevate her position in the society she was living in. Then following that, like you know, uh, uh, another another serenade that we <laughs> come up with just yesterday, huh? two days ago. No, yesterday actually. Say, oh, they say this show is too short. We should put something else, and we put a serenade, and, and Ara just come up with this weird stuff and and that's pretty much the guy say go tell your mom uh, to, that you're going to just collect the wood for the fire so we can meet secretly and and you know love each other uh, another ruse another another ruse so so you know th there's all these big nets of, of love uh, that's you know it's happening right now in the pandemic you know some some people cannot see their beloved for months or you cannot see your family for months so you, love is not just from a not for another person but also that's you know like you know the Classic love, you know, you, I love somebody else, but it can be the love for your child, the, the love for, for, for your mom, for your family, for your friends, for whoever you want. So you can just replace the subject and, and, and get the same emotions, it doesn't matter. Um, so that's my part of, of the, the equation. But, but everything else was mostly improvised. And then also we invited our beloved friend Roberto to join us twice, or one time with an old recording that uh, we found uh, Trisha, his, his wife, posted on, uh, on Facebook, playing a, uh, a song from Bulgaria, which we, we loved. And then by playing one of his tunes called uh, Milonga para Lucia, uh, that Roberto composed for his daughter when she was born. And, and I think it was a very nice to, uh, way to, to tell him, just Roberto, you, you're still here with us some, somewhat. You're not here physically, but you're here. Uh, you know, like in our memory, so that's why distant memory is like you still remember that person, even though he's so detached physically from us. It is still there; it still exists. So, and you're talking about the great accordionist and our our great friend Roberto who we Cassano. lost uh, uh, three years ago, something like 2016. That? So it was 2016. Um, well, wow. uh, Roberto Cassan, uh, amazing musician, beautiful individual. So. You know, one thing that struck me about the performance is, as you say, there's so much uh, uh, angst, there's so much, uh, there's love and there's pain, and all of those are tied together musically in beauty. You know, I mean, all of this, this pain my hope. Is, is expressed in this incredibly beautiful way. Is that... Is that weird? I mean, it, it, pain should hurt, but pain was so beautiful and the way it was expressed so evocatively. Uh, I personally, I know uh, Ara, you're of Armenian descent and uh, Fabio is uh, from Italy. Um, are, are these, is this a cultural thing that, that pain is expressed so beautifully? Uh, I don't know, is there, is there an answer to that? I don't know if there's an answer, but I think that's what art is, right? Art is an attempt to make sort of, whether it's pain or happiness, beautiful, and everything in between, too. It doesn't have to be one extreme or the other. It's making making life beautiful, and 
if pain and angst and love are part of life, why not make them beautiful rather than unpleasant? Yeah, yeah. I, I just want to read off some of the comments. Uh, you've gotten a lot of great comments. Uh, amazing. That word came up several times. Uh, <laughs> nicely done. I think that's understated. <laughs> Yes, write, write them back. <laughs> I say, yeah. That's not the same. <laughs> um, wonderful music for a Friday evening. Excellent concert. Uh, uh, amazing music. Beautiful. Uh, you know, so many great comments from, from the audience. And, uh, and I can say that, you know, while we really had a roadmap in front of us of what we were doing, there are obviously many parts that are improvised. And being in this wonderful space, really helps bring out the beauty in the improvised sections. I have to say this is a really reverberant place, but it's also beautiful, both the setting and the people who have helped us. Thank oh, you very yeah. much. Yeah. I think the whole experience yeah. of being here helped make the music beautiful also. So I just want to tell everyone again, if you haven't visited this place, whenever it is that they reopen, please do is visit. This is a really, really wonderful space to be in and the people are wonderful. And once again, uh, make a donation because it'll go equally to the museum and to Waltham Dine Aid. Dine Aid, which, as you know, a lot of restaurants and restaurant workers are in need of help. So, so wonderful space. Thank you for having us. Yes. And we want to make a point of thanking uh, the Keyed Up initiative of Jazz Generation for supporting this uh, concert as well. And you'll find other uh, sponsors of, of this on your, uh, on your uh, page. So uh, please thank them as well. Uh, and if, unless, do you have anything else you want to add, uh, Fabio? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. to you and thanks to all the people that actually helped us sound good. And hopefully you at the house were able to experience maybe a part of what we are actually experiencing here live, which as Sarah said, this room is just amazing. Uh, like for a singer, it's it's incredible how much the room bounces back at you, and you just perform differently. You hear the music differently. You think differently. So we, we rehearse in one way, and then we come here. We do something completely different. Um, beside that, just want to say thank you to all the people that that helped uh, make us sound good for you guys. Uh, big thanks to Ken and John for keeping music alive during the pandemic was, it's, it's, I don't know, without you guys, like we'd still be practicing this stuff. We're still practicing? Yeah, and just, of course, <laughs> every day, a lot. <laughs> um, so thanks very much. Uh, Fabio Pritzolo, Ara Sarkisian, and uh, thanks everybody for being here. Um, and uh, we'll see you next time. It's the Boiler House uh, Jazz Series. We'll be back in the fall. Uh, stay tuned to the Charles River Museum.org. Check it out, see what's going on. There's lots going on. So have a great night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>